The plants are taking over every surface area of my dining room, from the tables to the countertops and even chairs. How can I decorate this space and regain my dining room? Well, I think this window space is the solution. How's it going? Hi, I'm Fiona from Feline Jungle. Before I start this video, I'm going to give you a little background story. This is my dining room, which is my favorite room in the whole house. It has great natural lighting that comes from these south-facing windows. To take advantage of these windows, I placed a few houseplants here. Plants can beautify window spaces as decorative elements, but they can also serve a functional purpose as window shades or privacy curtains. I've already done this with one of the windows by adding hooks and macrame hangers and filling up the space with plants that will really enjoy the bright sunlight like my Hoyas and my Philodendrons. But everything is just so happy and overgrowing my tiny New York City apartment. It's getting a little out of hand here. There's too many plants, no space, and it's looking messy. So I've decided that I'm going to be taking over another south facing window to create more plant spaces for my lush trailing plants. I want to use similar design elements from my other window, but instead of using hooks, I will be using hanging rod this time. There are some reasons for this decision which I will elaborate later on in this video, and there are also some existing pots that will be perfect for this project. If you watch my previous terracotta pot collection video, you will know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Let's get started! First, I am installing this protective screen to protect the plants from too much direct light. What I love about the current product I'm using is that it's a static cling material which is designed to hold firmly onto any glass surface without using adhesives. This makes it so easy for me to install it and all I need is a clean smooth surface for it to stick properly. I just took off some old security sensors to prep a smooth surface to install the screen. Now I'm taking measurements of the window and trimming the film to the required size. From my experience, the window glass intensifies the light which can cause more sun stress on your plants. This frosted screen allows a comfortable amount of natural light into your house. Then the next step is I'm going to be spraying the window glass with some water to help the screen stick onto the window. Not really sure how this works in scientific terms, but it's pretty cool how the screen just sticks with static electricity. It's kind of like magic. And if you're interested in this item or anything I show you in this video, I will have it available for you in my description so you don't have to go through the trouble of finding it. I'm also going to be tagging the products using YouTube's new shopping feature. Ah, did you notice a new product list on YouTube? It's a pretty cool feature for content creators like myself. Doing the final step here, which is smoothing out the bubbles. Kind of like when you install a protective screen for your phone. Moving on to the fun part now, we're going to install these stainless steel rod sockets that will hold the hanging rod in place. Here's a neat trick I'm using to find the metal studs. I'm using a magnet to test where there is a metal structure. You want to avoid drilling into these metal because it's a lot harder to drill into. Once I've found the perfect position, I am using a pen to mark exactly where I want to drill into. Using a ruler, I'm going to make the same markings on the other side. I am installing the sockets on both sides and then sliding the wooden rod into place. I'm just using a 1 inch round dowel from Home Depot and I already pre-cut it to the width of my window. 
here's the moment of truth to see if I did everything correctly. And yes, everything fits into place nicely. For my last project, I installed wall hooks for hanging my plants and I found that there were a lot of disadvantages with doing this. First of all, I had to be very precise as to where I was installing these wall hooks which left very little room for error. And also I needed to make more holes if I wanted to add more plants. And obviously I'm going to be adding more plants so it didn't give me the flexibility I needed to style my plants. Learning from my experience last time, I am using hanging rods for my planters this time. I like using a hanging rod because it's just a lot easier to install and I can easily add new planters by adding more hooks onto the rod. The hanging rod looks bare so we want to bedazzle this with plants. Immediately I thought of putting more Hoyas here. All the Hoyas on my other window love this spot and have bloomed multiple times including my Obovara and my Crimson Queen. As mentioned in my tips for Hoya bloom video, having constant bright filter light encourages blooms. So I really want to hang my pot of Hoya Exotica here. It's a beautiful plant that I got from my friend Caesar at Corky Jungle and it has beautiful two color toned leaves. However, some of the leaves have reverted and that is probably because it didn't have enough light before so I think it will really appreciate this new sunny spot. I am pairing it with this cone chain planter that I got from an Etsy shop called Half Light Honey. I think the line pattern is an interesting contrast with patterns of the leaves. Next up, I am repotting this Hoya Chelsea. You might recognize this plant from my plant shop tour at Plant Quarter. This shop is owned by my dear friend Jira and I found this cutting in her baby plant section. Instinctively, I thought of pairing this with my booby planter from Idea Ceramics. I just thought the cupped shape of the foliage would complement the convex shape of the planter. It's so cute, I just can't wait for this plant to start trailing more. I've been using my printable plant journal to monitor the growth of this plant and it's been so fun to see the progress. If you're looking for a way to track your plants, this would be perfect for you. And you can get access to this plant care sheet by signing up on my website at feelingjungle.com. Okay, next I am repotting my vanilla orchid. This is also for my friend Caesar. He gave me some of his cuttings from his personal collection. Plant friends are the best. It still amazes me till this day the fact that vanilla beans come from this exact orchid. Anyways, I thought it would be a fun pairing to have this paired with my beehive planter that is also from Idea Ceramics. The orchid leaves kind of remind me of bumblebee wings, sort of. Just use your imagination. Lastly, I am repotting this string of hearts plant that is also from my friend Caesar. It's been in the same pot and I thought it would appreciate a fancier terracotta pot that is also from Idea Ceramics. Repotting this plant was so much fun because I found tubers in there and these tubers will grow into more string of hearts. Actually, I take that back. It's not that fun after I discovered that I have to untangle the plant. We are at the final stages of the whole process, which is styling the plants on this new hanging rod that we just created together. There are so many different ways you can do this. And just to throw an idea out there, I wanted to create different levels so that it's more playful to look at. I achieved this by playing with the different levels of string. After playing around with it for a bit, I am finally satisfied with the placement of this. For now. This is definitely going to change and the beauty of using the hanging rod is that I can easily move plants around or even add plants. And of course, we can't forget the windowsill space. I 
am definitely taking advantage of the space to put even more plants and you should definitely do the same. It's free plant space. I place my philodendron for a ghost, my syngonium, and my syndactus exotica here. I also use this sill for my little greenhouse for my succulents that will really enjoy the sunlight. And if you're crazy like me, you can even extend your windowsill space to make even more space for your plants. I am using these extra IKEA stools which are perfect plant stands. And I'll definitely explore this area in more detail in a future video. Plant hangers are a beautiful and innovative way to suspend plants in the air in your home creating gorgeous green aesthetic while saving space. After completing this makeover together and moving the plants to the window, I can finally see my kitchen countertop and dining room table. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget my 10 second challenge to like, comment, subscribe and share this video with all your friends. And also hit the notification button so you can get notified of my next video. I hope you like this window space that we created. Thanks for hanging around. Our next video is one that you cannot miss. It will be about setting up my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. If you want sneak peeks, you can check out my Instagram story or my blog post at feelingjungle.com. See you soon. Bye.